The blunderbuss is arguably the strongest weapon in Sea of Thieves, harboring the ability to one-shot enemies, knock enemies back, and be used both offensively and defensively. It's an amazing all-rounder, but it does come with its weaknesses, so today I will comprehensively analyse the blunderbuss, helping you to get a deeper understanding of its uses. If this video helps you, a like would be much appreciated as it massively helps out in the algorithm, as well as subscribing for more content like this. It takes one second, and you can always undo it in the future. Starting off simple, I will discuss the basic abilities and statistics. The blunderbuss is a firearm with a short barrel which is flared at the muzzle and consumes shots as the ammunition. The blunderbuss shoots 10 pellets in a circle funnel, spreading further apart as the distance increases, and each pellet deals 10 damage. This means that the blunderbuss has the potential to one-shot an enemy, instantly sending them to the Ferry of the Damned, making it extremely capable and useful for those close quarters fights. On top of this ability, it also carries a knockback with its shot. So should enough pellets hit within close distance, the enemy will be sent flying backwards. These two abilities combined makes this weapon the go-to for close quarters fights if you like to play slippery and hard to catch, in contrast to the cutlass. As well as this, it is a close range weapon with a medium reload time, making it quite a circumstantial weapon, but paired with the correct playstyle, it could prove to be game changing. Now with that out of the way, let's discuss its uses within player versus player combat. First up, we will discuss its defensive advantages and some scenarios where the blunderbuss will reign supreme when defending your ship. First of all is the obvious, ladder guarding. When someone is boarding your ship, the best way to deal with this threat is to use a blunderbuss, since as previously discussed, it can one-shot an enemy, and if not, it will knock them off of the ladder, leading them to also waste food healing themselves, depleting their resources. It is best used when fighting on a sloop because of its small size and close angles, allowing you to utilize its abilities much easier, getting the most out of the weapon. It works well on other ships when below the deck too, and it is also super useful if you find yourself up against a user with a cutlass. Since their only option is to push close to you, you can easily one-shot the enemy and delete them off the face of the earth. So if you ever find yourself against opponents using a cutlass, switching over to the blunderbuss may be a good idea if you are accurate enough. Lastly, if you are being spawn camped by an enemy, the blunderbuss could be what changes the tide of the fight, since if you spawn in close enough to the enemy, you could rush them and get a one-shot kill, or even knock them off your ship, resecuring your boat and allowing you to potentially turn the fight around. Next up, we will discuss its offensive uses in player versus player combat. Its main use within offensive play is for spawn holding. When aboard a player's boat, as you wait for their ship to fill up with water, the blunderbuss is the best weapon for this scenario, as it can one-shot the enemy as soon as they spawn in, making sinking them more guaranteed. Likewise, it can knock the defender away from you, and paired with the eye of reach, it can result in a deadly force, making defending really hard against a good player. Similarly, it is also very useful for aggressive play styles. Since you need to be close to the enemy, if you are aggressive, fluid and slippery, being able to outmaneuver the enemy, making them chase you, means the tempo is in your control, allowing you to slow down and get close and personal with the enemy whenever you want, allowing for the one-shot potential to shine through. Finally, utilizing its knockback ability. When you learn to manipulate it for when you need it, it can actually make life easier rather than solely relying on the one-shot potential. Using it to quickly knock an enemy off of the cannon when you board their ship, rather than spending an extra second or two trying to close the gap to get that one-shot kill can actually change the tides of a fight. Hitting someone off of their sails, cannons, wheel can all change the game tremendously. As a quick recap for the combat uses, I will break down the best scenarios where the blunderbuss truly shines in PvP. Defensively, holding the ladder from enemy borders is by far the best use for the blunderbuss over using the cutlass or blunderbombs due to its abilities, while for offensive attacking, it's by far the most effective when holding spawns to secure the sink. Now that we have discussed its basic uses, and its use in combat against players, we're going to discuss how to actually use it. But to start with, I will give you a quick tip and explain how to not use it. It's fairly simple, just don't shoot from a long distance as it will do very little damage and is not effective in the slightest. Likewise, do not use it if you are doing solo world events or non-Athena voyages, as the skeletons are very weak and using a blunderbuss will only slow you down, aside from when you're defeating the high health bosses like the Ashen Lords or Grey Marrow. Okay, now for the meat of things, where it gets a little more interesting and in-depth. We're going to discuss which weapon you should pair with the blunderbuss and for which scenario. I think for this we will go through each loadout, analysing its usefulness one after the other. First up, I will discuss the blunderbuss with the flintlock, probably the least used combination in the game, but fairly interesting when you look at it. The flintlock doing 55% damage means to kill an enemy pirate you need to only hit 4 of the 10 pellets afterwards, meaning you could use the blunderbuss at a close to medium range and get a kill. 
It's also a very versatile combo due to the flintlock being slippery and fast with a high hip fire accuracy and a quick reload, allowing for a lot of complex movement while outplaying the enemy. Likewise for PvE, the flintlock would be quite good for killing low HP skeletons compared to the blunderbuss as you do not have to be close to the enemy and you can reload faster. Next up, I will discuss the Eye of Reach and blunderbuss combo, my personal go-to for PvP. This is because the Eye of Reach does 90% damage to an enemy, allowing for the final 10% to be dealt by one blunderbuss pellet, which means you can use this to snipe the enemy from afar and not have to go up close or even mid-range from the enemy, reducing your risk of dying to a sword or blunderbuss. The downside to this combo is that you have the slowest reloading weapons and have to be the most accurate as the Eye of Reach is harder to aim than the flintlock, though the damage output compensates for this. For PvE, I would not recommend this as typically you do not need high damage output. The only PvE I would recommend this for would be world events which involve a final skeleton boss, as this combo offers the highest amount of damage output per second. Finally, we have the blunderbuss sword combo, the worst combo in the game. And yes, I didn't record any footage of this combo as I didn't want to go through the pain of having to use it. The only thing this could possibly be good for is Fort of the Damned, since you can kill gunpowder skeletons as they spawn in from behind in order to save the keg, as well as speed through the waves with the sword. Similarly, in PvP, the only time it would be beneficial over anything else is when you are defending your ship. Other than that, the drawbacks are way too heavily weighted compared to the benefits, and you have no ranged weapon to deal with any long-range threat. The only benefit is the sword lunge, which can allow you to grab enemy ladders easier or get to your ship faster, but those are very situational. Overall, I would say the best second weapon to pair with the blunderbuss is personal preference and situational. For PvP, it depends on your playstyle, but overall the Eye of Reach can be used just as fast as the flintlock when you master it, meaning it tops the flintlock 9 out of 10 times. The the combination outputs higher damage and has more versatility since the Eye of Reach has lower damage drop-off and faster bullet velocity, but the inability to be hip-fired consequently makes your PvP slower. For PvE, I would say the best is the Blunderbuss Flintlock, due to the swift mechanics of the Flintlock and the ability to one-shot skeletons in the same scenario an Eye of Reach would do so. It also has medium-range capabilities, which is all you need for tackling PvE. This video has taken a lot of experience in game to put together and figure out, so a like would be very appreciated, and if you wouldn't mind subscribing, I would be very grateful too. Let me know if you enjoyed this video and if you would like to see me do another on the other weapons, and also let me know what weapon you would like to see. Take care my friends.